What's going on you guys? It's Kevin back here with a brand new sourcing video. Today we're going to be heading into a couple outlets. Can't film in Adidas anymore, so we're going to be showing the Nike. And at the end, I'm going to show you guys my pickups. Anybody that's new here, my name is Kevin. I'm a full-time reseller and I go to these outlets to look for shoes to mostly resell on eBay and Amazon. So if you guys are interested in any of this type of content, make sure to go ahead and subscribe down below or ask any questions. Greatly appreciate it. And let's see what they got in the store. First Nike, let's see what they got. Think that they're gonna be here forever until they're like ultra discounted. Don't even know the retail on these, but oh, oh supposedly 120. Oh, yeah, 125 dollars off the retail. 150 for the 2017s. 164 for the triple blacks. Oh shit. 80 for the air structures, and then 94 for the Air Max Evo, Ivo, whatever. All these shoes look the same. What the heck? Different models though. Air Max Torch, 80 bucks. Heard these were pretty good sellers. I think they sell for like 100 bucks. You just gotta get them cheap enough though. That's not a good price. 80 bucks for the running shoe. Nike React Infinity Runs. Sheesh. Hi. 100 for the free run fly knits. I don't know about this uh like see-through material though. They, they're really bugging on this. This used to be 50 I think like two days ago. They raise a price though. These are really cool colorway too. 94 to triple white react. Infinity run flying it. Got all these cardboard looking boxes. Well, all this are cardboard, but like actual, not orange, but this. Got some downshifter 12s. Pretty cool. They look a little better than the other downshifters. Triple black ex flex experience run 11s. These are look better than the other ones too. If I do say so myself. I think these finally went down. I'm not sure what they were before, but 100 back walls, 20% off. Legend Essentials, 50 bucks for the Varsity Compete Train Three. 70 for the Renew Retaliation. What the heck? 50 for the other colorway. Kyrie Flag Trap Vibes. Well, new model here. Pretty cool box too. See-through material, more breathable, I guess. Check out this refurbished, bro. I don't think there's nothing special here. It's a little bronze that were on the wall. Air Max Impact. Harachis. Oh. Romaleos. Get them for 80. I think this is easily 150 to $200 sale. Let's look at this condition. Yo, this condition is immaculate. What the heck? This isn't really a bolo because you never really find these on the wild unless they're like returned or something, but these are looking pretty nice. That was the first shoe. Let's check. What are these? Uh, cosmetically flawed. Don't know if I want to mess with it. If it's cosmetically flawed, then it'll probably pass authentication, but don't know. What do you guys think? Would you guys cop or drop these? These are pretty much new, to be honest. Man, this shoe is a freaking nice. I actually might just look it up. Let's check the comps. There's usually more comps than sold. Oh, I mean, then listings. Oh, there's 43 listings. 43 comps. 166. That one sold pre owned for 116. 140. That's my boy right there. 160 plus shipping. Wow. That's a cook right there. Let's see how many size nines I've sold. And we don't have the box here. So only three nines have sold. Not the best. Well, they're all pre owned too, so. I don't know. I don't know. Air Force Ones, men's size 10, 55 plus 20% off. Wow, what a steal, dude. What, what even is wrong with these? They were tried on or something in the store. These are gently worn. Got these Air Max Dawns. Pegasus 83s. Got some 270s down here. Size 9, 80 bucks. Interesting, interesting. I missed my chance with these. Not full size run, size nine was the biggest size and now they're gone. I don't know why I didn't look them up. That was a big L on my part. Might be the thumbnail. These are still here, 2021s. Return wall, bro. <laughs> these are everywhere. Got some Jordan nines, I mean eight. Retail plus 20% off, not a bad price. These aren't a bad price, plus 20% off either. What is this? Mountain Fly Low, all size nine. Somebody bought three pairs and returned them. Either that or they just got these randomly. That's very weird. PSGs, size 10 and a half. Another return of the Jordan 8. Women's. Oh, there's some dunks over here. Size 10, 
20% off may not be too bad it may not be too bad for your guys cup I gotta look it up still but Air Max Pluses and then these <laughs> nobody wants these bro So we get this for 115 plus 20, 200 result, 100 listing. So like a 50%, 100 comp. So like 100% sell through. Size 10, dude. I don't know. Australia Noble Green. Check how many size 10 sold. 15 size 10 sold. 135, 150, 150. So let's let's do the calculations here. It's 30% off. 92 bucks. Nah, that's a drop. While it is, I think a guaranteed sale. Second Nike. This is a really cool jacket, dude. What the heck? 55 bucks. We got the return section here. Aiko. Stealths. These are lows. Interesting. When did these come out? Size 12 and a half, weird size. These are at the other store too. Size 10 on these. These over here have been here for like a couple weeks, I think. The tear escapes. We got some twos here. Pegasus Trail React Force 130 plus 20. That's not a bad price. Got some discounted Metcons 90 plus 20. 70 bucks for these Metcon. 60 for the Run Swift. Never heard of the Run Swift. They look like these, but these are Quest Fours. Downshifter 12s 55 bucks. Some 97s here that have been sitting as well. These 95s 110 20% off. Drop, drop. The Pure Platinum 2017. Back wall 20% off. Two. Don't know about those. What are these? Superfly 9 Club Turf. 65 bucks. These. I don't even know why these are 75. I wouldn't buy these for 20, dude. Well, maybe I'd buy them for 20. I wouldn't buy them for 30. That's what I meant. 40 bucks for 20% off. Not a bad price on these bad boys. Free runs. 30% off the clothing. Check the last section here. Got some Kyrie Fly Trap 5s. These are pretty cool colorway too. Got some 270s here. Very, very nice. Ooh, got some Air Max Pluses. 130 plus 20% off. That's a really good price. Size 11. I mean, I gotta look these up. Let me not slip up like last time. 130 times 0.8 will come out to 100. Every Nike takes taxes, and so I don't think we'd have a problem using it here. 43 results, 29 comps. One so for 160, 150, yeah, nah, not there. But for the personal, it's a really good price. 100 bucks is from Air Max Pluses. Pretty good looking colorway, too. Very successful day today, of course, at Adidas. Look at this, almost a full trunk. All right, this is all the shoes we got for today. All of this, not including these, just these two. First off, we got these Swift Runs. We got them for $24.65 before tax around there. The second store, we got some with tax. Tax are like $25 or $26 something. We're gonna be selling these on Amazon for $50 to $70. Bucks. I'm pretty sure they're gonna sell for around the $60 range. Quick little $15 profit on these for only that buy cost of $25. Bucks. Not bad whatsoever we got. I think we only have nine pairs, surprisingly. I thought we would have had more. But let's move on to these XPLRs, triple blacks. We got these for $17.49, I think. No tax. And then with tax, 18 something. We're gonna be selling these on Amazon for 60 bucks as well. Gonna be making a little bit more on these, maybe 20 bucks profit on each. Hopefully. I know uh when there's an abundant amount of shoes out, the tanks to tank a little bit, maybe it goes down to 55 to 50 bucks. We're still gonna be making around 10 to 15 bucks, which I'm happy with that investment we put in. Can't go wrong with that shoe. Moving on, we got these Addy Star men's. We've seen these a lot in the store. We finally pulled the trigger on them and got them. Pretty clean shoe overall, can't lie. We got them for $45.50. Gonna be trying to sell them for like 90, making 20 bucks profit, hopefully. Not bad, not bad. We got seven pairs of those. Moving on, we got these Harden step bags that we're gonna be selling on Amazon. They cost 30 something bucks. And we're gonna hopefully sell them for like 80, make a quick 20 something dollars. Can't go wrong with those. We only got two pairs this time. And we got eight pairs of these Adidas Form Low Women's Black and White. Man, these are just a killer shoe right here. They look very, very nice. Has the accent there to know they're women's shoes. 
these look like the regular forums uh these are selling on i think amazon for 80 to 90 so not bad we paid 33 something for them not bad not bad then we got nine pairs of these Terex kid shoes selling on amazon for like 60 bucks we only paid 25 for them we're gonna be making like cool 15 to 20 bucks profit kid shoes we got a lot of size sixes and some five and a half nine of them total not a bad shoe pickup gonna be scanning a little bit more often now for amazon to see what i can profitably sell on there usually never look at kid shoes but today paid off looking it up and then these are the extra swift runs so we did get more than nine we got 13 and then we got these game court tennis shoes. We already sold a couple of these on Amazon for 65 bucks. We only picked them up for 24 something, making a cool 15 to 20 bucks profit on each. We got eight pairs of those. Moving on to the special shoes. We got a lot of like one-offs, surprisingly. We got these Adidas X Speed Portal. Never heard of these, but they're messy shoes, point ones. Very, very nice. 250 retail we got them for 250 plus 50 percent off and then plus our 30 percent off both men's size 10 so they came out to like 90 something i think maybe a little bit more after tag i'm gonna be trying to sell this for like 100 bucks for like 200 bucks hopefully if not maybe around 170 to 160 range i know we paid a lot for them but that's what i'm thinking they're gonna sell at let's move over here we got some extremely unique looking shoes here we got these for 42 bucks plus tag so maybe like 44 maybe 45 bucks retail 120 on these exact name zx22 boost these look like 750s in my opinion actually quite hilarious but they're pretty nice and they're really really heavy though adidas copying kanye you guys know about that these are men's size 11 and a half we're gonna be trying to sell it for like 100 comps are pretty crazy on those so who knows how much we'll sell them for moving on we got these ozelias 50 bucks i don't know what the, they actually came out to but triple black man you can't go wrong and they only came out to like 17 bucks gonna be trying to get like 60 for these easily retail on them is 110 i think then we got these forum mids gonna be selling them on amazon these juniors 30 bucks man like you can't go wrong with that they came out to like ten dollars selling i think for as high as 70 on amazon and amazon's the only one on the listing but i'll compete with them on this cheap shoe and then got these multi eggs 35 plus 50 percent off plus 30 percent cool little 40 to 50 dollars sale 15 dollars profit on these probably 30 dollars profit and then we got these nmd r1s we picked some of these up before i've sold one pair and i was like you know what i saw these again let me pick them up they're unique i'm not a fan of them whatsoever but people like nmds so nmds are guaranteed 90 to 100 sell no matter the colorway we got three more pairs of shoes left got these human made nmd these came out to like 70 or 80 dollars after all the discounts these are newly released well you guys are seeing this they might have already released a long time ago but we're gonna try to sell these for like 180 on ebay and these are like the weirdest shoes i've ever seen we got these ultra boost copas we got these for 70 bucks or something plus tax maybe 75 76 so we got the copa tops you guys know copa and they're also atlanta united here in georgia so you guys know about that it has that leather top but it has an ultra boost midsole and uh outso as well it's just a weird shoe we're gonna we're gonna list there's none on goat so we're gonna see also none listed anywhere else so we're gonna check them out they also had another size nine but we didn't take them they were dirty and then last but not least we got some ultra boost here this came out to 70 something and we're gonna try to sell this for like probably 150 i'm uh, not a fan this is like the weird thing about it other than that decent shoe can't go wrong with the ultra boost never so you guys that is going to conclude this sourcing video i'm sorry i can't record at adidas anymore it is what it is let me know what you guys think of the pickups down below in the comments let me know how your stores have been as well i've heard ross and marshall's and berlin well not marshall just ross and Burlington specifically they're coming back so let me know how your stores have been i go to outlets so they're pretty consistent i really do appreciate you for watching to the very end as always stay great